Hello, my name is Michal Husák and I played Admiral Nansen in uh, Squadron A Star Trek Fun Production. Today with me is Pavel Houska who is working on uh, CGI for us. Uh, and he will introduce his he will introduce himself and tell us more about his work. So Pavel, who are you? <laughs> so hi, hi, I'm Pavel, which is Paul in English, and I live in Prague. Uh, yes, but uh, many people know me by my nickname Crichton because of my cosplay of an android from the Red Dwarf. So. That's true. <laughs> I never know your face, but I know your mask for a long time. <laughs> Oh, uh, when I first met you, it was uh, making of twelve minds. Yeah. And I thought that the hairless is your normal look. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but I looked terrible that day. True. Uh, so, uh, how long have you been working with 3D? Mm, I started uh, when I was sixteen. Really? So it means it's 19 years. So now you're master. You know everything. Uh, uh, <laughs> almost nobody can know everything, but well, 3D graphics is also my full-time job. So, so other uh, way. Are you satisfied with what you know and what uh, your skills are right now? Mm. Not completely. There's I, always there are, something there to improve. Still, things I want to learn and I want to improve myself. But if you could somehow say how much satisfied are you with your skills right now, or do you think uh, during those 19 years you could learn much more, or that you are quite fine with what you know and what you do? Well, I am quite satisfied because I know enough to do it for a living. Yeah. And uh, at work there are people that respect my skills, so I am quite satisfied. Yeah. Well, I think you're <laughs> quite good because what I've seen, the scenes and uh, what you've done on the previous projects, it's uh, really great. Thanks. Yeah, I've seen lots of details, you are... Uh, English, <laughs> not an English word. Sorry, uh, perfectionist. You're a perfectionist, so it's it's really something. Well, that said, uh, how many projects have you worked on so far? If if we skip your day job, like fan projects. Okay, fan projects. Uh, I think it's five. I started uh, about six years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, with the fan film, Star Trek fan film called uh, Between the Lines. Mm -hmm. It was finished a year ago, so it means the post production lasted for five years. Wow, that's a long time. <laughs> yes, a bit my fault too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> How is that? Yes, uh, I was the main uh, 3D artist on this project and it was very ambitious. And, well, I gave more ambitions than the rest of the team, I think. So I wanted my work to be absolutely perfect and it's... Oh, it's so you were just uh, make it more and more perfect and adding details and they, that took uh, some time. Yes, but it was uh, also because, uh, you know, the movie has more over an hour mm -hmm. and Almost every shot uh, contains some CGI, so doing this in uh, professional quality means you would need a team of people, and not, not yeah, so three it, people. It was like an hour of CGI in the movie. Yes. Like, wow, that's <laughs> that's that's a lot. <laughs> uh, okay, so five projects that you've worked, fun projects that you've worked on. Was okay. everything Star Trek? No, um, there is a show called Yes Captain, which yeah. is a non-Star Trek show. But it is based on the on uh, Star Trek. It started as a Star Trek yeah. show. You know it, you, you played there. 
Yeah, I, I think lost you, there one roll. You were an Andorian. Andorian and yeah. yeah. And uh, so first it was Star Trek, but then guidelines came. Yeah. But we decided to continue, so we transformed the whole thing into our own universe. Mm -hmm. We changed names, designs, uh, everything. So you could be creative. You can create the whole world. Yes, I liked That's cool. that. I liked that I could design my own spaceship. It was really fun. <laughs> yeah, I believe so. <laughs> and also, in this project, I can fulfill my musical ambitions because I composed the soundtrack for this project. You composed? Yes. Wow. I composed for all the episodes. <laughs> cool. You're a good guy to have in a team. <laughs> okay, so in the process, uh, what part of the process do you like the most? Because you do 3D models, rendering, I don't know, lightning, I don't know, even modeling, uh, doing the shots, now soundtracks. So, what do you like the most? Okay, uh, most, uh, my most favorite part is modeling and uh, creating environments like the space or planets, planet surfaces. Are you creating the whole planets or are you compositing with photos or something like that? Uh, not the whole planet. I always uh, create a part that is shown in the shot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's not... First I started with photos, but there is not much good photos. You, you can just find some NASA photos of Earth. Mm -hmm. from the orbit, but you often need alien planets and yeah. so I developed uh, my own way how to generate the planet surfaces and also clouds. So, just to be curious, how many layers a planet has? You know, I, I mean <laughs> texture, bump layer, uh, animated clouds, atmosphere, you well, know, how, how much not would much you say? layers because there is a base shape, which is the planet surface. Uh, surface. Yeah. And it has some color texture and displacement map. You don't see this map exactly, but mm -hmm. you see the effect of this map because it uh, pushes some pixels. Yeah, I know. The uh, yes, but it, it, it's more advanced than the bump map. It's displacement. displacement. It's, really makes it uh, 3D uh -huh. so the mountains can cast shadows and so on then there is the atmosphere from one layer of clouds mm -hmm. but also the clouds are also using displacement map and maybe another layer uh, that simulates the you know the air yeah yeah it, it's usually is just a sphere Right. So, telling you, you telling this, is it more texturing or is it more modeling that you like, that you prefer, that you enjoy? Well, I don't like texturing much. <laughs> I like modeling, and uh, well, this is the reason why I am generating planets now because the software generates colors for me. Mm -hmm. I just uh, set up. The Oh, so you just set up how, yeah, right. how much dense the air and uh, the clouds how, how should be, how much forest, how much yeah, deserts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you just generate that. That's cool. Uh, okay, you uh, worked on Squadron, so there's a question that should be asked. Uh, how far are you? And uh, when do you expect yeah. it to be finished? As you, you're working on the first part yes. of Squadron, yeah. So how far? Mm -hmm. It's the one. How far we are because I'm not alone. But, uh, well, all the animations, I mean, all the movements of objects are finished. Mm -hmm. We just need to solve some remaining problems with the uh, explosions because mm -hmm. there will be some ship explosions in the movie. Oh, that's a spoiler! <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry for that. And, but uh, there were already one explosion shown. Yeah, that's page. that's true. That wasn't spoiler. <laughs> you saw it in the trailer. 
so there are still some problems. Uh, there is another guy, uh, his name is Water, mm -hmm. he's a skilled artist, a skilled artist uh, and he is working on the breaking of the ships and, so, and the disintegration is mm -hmm. simu also simulated by a special software. Yeah. Uh, so, and the last thing we must tweak some uh, lighting in some shots. And so, what then would you say? Yeah, we, okay. we will start rendering the final shots, and I suppose we will start in August. In August. So, now you're like 75% in the process? Maybe. It's cool. Uh, how long would the rendering uh, take? What's, what's the quality well, that you render the shots? I am used to optimize the scenes for the fast rendering. Mm -hmm. and also have a rendering computer with a powerful uh, um, processor. Yeah. Uh, and I usually render one frame in from two to five minutes. Wow. So That's... usually one shot uh, renders through the night. I start it, go sleeping in the morning, it's ready, or when it's not, I go to work, when I get back home, it's ready. <laughs> yeah, right. How often that does it happen that there is some bug and you have to re-render? Does it happen or...? Uh, it happened to me uh, a lot uh, earlier, but uh, now it doesn't happen so much because I've improved the, my pipeline mm -hmm. a lot, so... And some bugs can be repaired in the VFX post-production, so it's... Great, what about uh, crashing? computer crashing, it's really hot right now, <laughs> it's uh, tropical temperatures, so is your computer cooled enough? Or my that's, my that's rendering why you... Computer, uh, it's, yeah, it's not crashing. That's cool, that's fine. <laughs> there is a good, good cooling box uh, this size on the, on the core. <laughs> wow, that's cool, that's good news. Uh, okay, uh, you already introduced Walter, so is anyone else on your team? working uh, on Squadron? We are only two 3D artists. We got one guy for VFX post-production, but he's still waiting for final shots from us. True. So you have to render it first. Cool. And uh, when it's rendered and post-produced, then you're giving the shots to the director to implement them into, into yes. the movie. Well, it's more complicated because we have already given the, I don't know... Preview the renders? Uh, Previous? Yes, the preview Previous renders. visualization. That's a, that's so, it, they already are in the movie. Oh, so it's just they, they will be swapped uh, yes, by for, the... Yes, for nicer, nicer version. Ones, yes. Oh, that's cool. So... Is there anything else that you would like to tell us? Uh, not sure. Would you like to ask? Oh, I think we've already run through all the questions that I have on you. So, thank you for the interview. It's thank been really insightful. And uh, hopefully we will see uh, all the great work that you've done uh, pretty soon. Well, which means autumn. I guess if you start rendering in August, then, <laughs> then even the director has to, and uh, the cameraman or how how is called the guy that's cutting the movie, cutter, editor, <laughs> editor. Uh, so yeah, there. I guess there will be another month of uh, hard work uh, on it. So I I hope we will see it on uh, on autumn at autumn. So well, yeah, yeah let's hope. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your attention and uh, have a great day. Live long and prosper. Bye.